Hi everyone, I'm Liz Peterson and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. Today I'm going to talk about activities and if you know me, you know that I think activities are one of the most powerful features within pipe drive. And today I'm going to share three tips for working with activities more efficiently and it's going to save you hours upon hours every single month. After watching, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you want to get more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And if you're interested in any one-on-one -on -one consulting, feel free to click the links below for information on that. So let's dive in. When you log into Pipedrive, most often you're going to end up on a pipeline view and you want to navigate to your activities. Then from this view, you'll likely be clicking on deal links or maybe activity subject links. But you can see when I do that, the activity subject, when this pop out comes up, I don't have a lot of the information I need. I don't have the email. I don't have the phone number and I can't really do anything from this screen other than maybe click on the deal to get to the deal. So it's an annoying place to land. Then on the deal, this is great. I end up on the deal. I have all the information that I need here, but then I have to navigate back to the activities once I'm done with the thing that I need to do within that deal. But I'm going to show you how you can do all of your activities without ever having to leave this window. So this tiny little icon here in the right, it says open details in full view. You want to click that and you want it to be blue. When it's blue, it's on and it will stay on until you turn it off. So just don't click it again. Just click it the one time. And then what's going to happen is when you click on a deal title, you're going to get a little pop out that opens up that allows you to do the activity, complete it, and then you can just mark it as done right there. And then you can just click to the next thing in the list and keep working down the list. Now you saw I clicked on the subject there and this is the same kind of pop out that I didn't love earlier. If you click on the subject, you can always then click on the deal to take you to the right place. But the next thing I want to do is show you how you can customize what you can see over in this left hand side. So you can, again, just work really fast through that list. So I'm going to click out of this here so you can customize all of the columns that you are seeing. So for me, I don't like to see the done here. It's not helpful for me. I also don't need the name, phone, email, or organization because I've got the name and organization in my deal title and the phone and email I get when I click and get that pop out. So I'm going to use this tiny little gear icon on the right hand side to customize the fields that I'm seeing. So I'm going to remove done name, phone, email, org. I don't need the duration either, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, so now I've just got these three fields, but maybe I want to have a few more. I know that I have a timeline field that is really helpful, that makes helps me know how quickly they're looking to make a decision. And then I also want priority uh, because I do have some activities that are high pro priority and I want those to be top of mind then you can reorder these, right? So I didn't like that I was clicking on the subject and like that's what I had access to over here on the left-hand side. So I'm actually gonna put deals all the way over on the left and then if I click here, now I'm taken to the deal and I've got the activity here. I can do it and then I can click done. Then I can just click down to the next one in the list. So that's how I like my view to be. Then from within uh, this view, you can also resort your activities. So if you click on the column header, you're going to sort it A to Z, Z to A based on that column itself. So if I you know, click on the due date, this is the most obvious one. I'm going soonest to latest, or if I flip it, I'm going latest to soonest at the bottom. So those are gonna be your two biggest time savers. Make sure you have this little button toggled on and then reorder your columns so they're in a view that helps you work as efficiently as you can. And then the last thing is just gonna save you a few clicks every time you log into Pipedrive. So if you go to your personal preferences here in the top right hand side and then interface preferences, then here you can change your default landing page. So instead of landing on deals, you can just automatically land on activities every time you log into Pipedrive. So here you're going to type in activities and then at the bottom you're going to click save and now every time you log in you're going to log in and land on your activities page and your activities page is going to look exactly as you left it in terms of the column ordering and all the activities that you have to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like this content, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.